Welcome to the Pedisco video tutorial on the Customers and Sales Navigation Center in Peachtree. This tutorial supports our Peachtree practice sets written for students studying computerized accounting systems. Our online virtual tutor sets include automatic grading, ongoing feedback, and algorithmic values to ensure each student has a unique practice set. Just like this free video tutorial, we also offer some practice sets for free. For more information, more videos like this, and detailed instructions on using Peachtree, visit pedisco.com forward slash Peachtree. In this tutorial, we will cover an overview of the Customers and Sales Navigation Center, and then focus on just one task, recording a credit sale transaction in Peachtree. You will find this tutorial useful to set up your customers in Peachtree and when recording customer related transactions and events. For a more comprehensive treatment of this navigation centre, explore our Peachtree Learning Centre at pedisco.com forward slash Peachtree Learning. Let's begin by exploring the Tasks section of the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre. The icons in the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre are divided into two different sections. Positioned at the top are the Maintenance Task icons. These icons are used to set up and maintain the master files of the business that relate to customers and sales. Below this are the Information Processing Task icons. These icons are displayed like a flowchart depicting the order of steps in the sales cycle and are used to record and process the transactions of the business. Let's now have a closer look at each item and relate them to the sales cycle. Meet Chris. Chris has a business that sells boxes of the good stuff. Chris has a friend Joe who is interested in getting some of the good stuff. But before Chris can sell Joe any boxes on credit, Chris must set up Joe as a customer in Peachtree. This is done by clicking the Customers icon and selecting New Customer, where Chris can record essential information about Joe required to sell the good stuff on credit. From this same Customers icon, selecting Set up Customer Defaults allows access to the Customer Defaults window where information that applies to all customers is set up. The next maintenance task icon is Jobs, which we will skip because Chris is not in the business of providing services. However, Chris does collect sales taxes. Sales taxes are set up by selecting the Sales Tax icon. This opens the Set Up Sales Taxes window where information is entered to set up the sales taxes charged to customers. After these setup procedures are performed, Chris is ready to sell some boxes of the good stuff to Joe. The first step in the sales cycle may be that Joe asks Chris for a quote. This can be recorded using the Quotes icon in Peachtree. Next, Joe may place a sales order with Chris, which Chris records using the Sales Orders icon in Peachtree. Chris can then generate an invoice to record the sale using the Sales Invoices icon in Peachtree and deliver the invoice and the goods to Joe. Chris does not charge customers late fees or service charges if they do not pay their invoice on time, so we will not need to use the Finance Charges window in Peachtree. When Joe finally pays Chris for the boxes of the good stuff, Chris needs to record the receipt of cash. This is done using the Receive Money icon in Peachtree. Next, Chris needs to take the cash and deposit it into the bank. This is recorded using the Bank Deposits icon in Peachtree. But what happens if Joe returns one box of the good stuff to Chris? Chris records a credit memo and any payment to Joe using the Credits and Returns icon in Peachtree. The final icons in the Customers and Sales Task section are Time and Expense Tickets, Customer Statements and the Reports icons, which we encourage you to explore for yourself in Peachtree. 
Now that we have an overview of the tasks available in the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre, let's focus on one specific task, recording a credit sale. If you are completing our Peachtree practice set, one recurring transaction type is the sale of inventory on credit. We will now show you how to record this transaction type into Peachtree using the sample company that comes with Peachtree, Bellwether Garden Supply. In Peachtree, ensure that you are in the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre. Then, click the Sales Invoices icon and select New Sales Invoice from the list provided. This opens up the Sales Invoicing window where the credit sale is entered. Next, select the customer ID of the customer to whom you made the sale. Notice that the Bill 2 and Ship 2 details are automatically filled out for you. You can then enter the date of the invoice, the invoice number and the quantity of each item type sold to the customer, selecting Tab or enter on your keyboard to move between each field. As you enter each item, Peachtree automatically calculates the amount for that item as well as the invoice total. If you need more rows to add additional inventory items, select the row icon in the toolbar and click Add. Peachtree will add a new row where you will be able to enter a new type of inventory. Notice that a scroll bar appears to the right to allow you to view the inventory items you have entered or you can just resize the window to view more items. Once you have entered all inventory items, the final step is to save the invoice by clicking the Save icon. This will journalise and post the sale to the applicable accounts. So that is how to enter a credit sale into Peachtree. Visit Pedisco's Learning Centre at pedisco.com forward slash Peachtree Learning for more detailed information on this and other tasks found in the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre. We've now come to the end of our tutorial on the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre. You will find that we have covered an overview of the Customers and Sales Navigation Centre and the process of recording a credit sale transaction into Peachtree. Now it's up to you. If you are doing the Peachtree Electronics Practice Set, Good luck with your assignment.